Now, since then, Bristol Palin, along with her mother, have been the target of constant attacks by the liberal media and liberal pundits. But now she's ready to tell her side of the story in her brand new book, Not Afraid of Life My Journey So Far. Bristol discusses everything from her teenage pregnancy to the nasty rumors from the campaign trail. And she joins us in studio. Good to see you. Welcome back. Thanks. Well, this is nothing. You danced in front of 24 <laughs> million people. I mean, that must have been the hard part. Yeah, you know, that was difficult, but I had an awesome time. Yeah, but you have a kind of a gutsy family. Your mom's pretty gutsy. Your dad's pretty, is out there in the freezing cold getting frostbite. Yeah, we, we come from a really gutsy family, a really independent uh, background, and I love my family. Right. You get very, very personal in this book. You talk mm -hmm. about, you're only 20 years old. Yes. All right, to me, that you're still a kid. Yeah. Um, but you talk about the difficulty, I mean, the pregnancy, you, you, you talk about virginity. I mean, you really lay it out in this book. Was that hard to do? Um, you know, it was hard to go back and uh, relive all those moments by talking about them. And um, it, it, it was hard, but it's so worth it because I know it's going to be helping other people. And is that, was that your motive? I think even at the end of the book, you said something. I remember I wrote it down. Uh, something really to the effect that, you know what, I'm not a role model, a dancer, a preacher. I'm a normal, normal girl who couldn't hide her problems and learned a few lessons along the way. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I know that by putting it all out there that uh, eventually that's going to help someone. Yeah. Well, you, you, you talk, and I know that something was made of this, you talk about your pregnancy, and since the book has come out, a lot has been made of this. You, you said, for the first time, you lied to your mom. Mm -hmm. What did you lie to your mom about? Never lie to your mother. But Never what? lie to your mother. Yeah. Um, that's like the biggest lesson that I learned, uh, learned throughout my life, you know. I made a decision to uh, go out, sneak out with my friends, get drunk, and uh, have sex for the first time, and I own up to that mistake in the book, and I talk about... Uh, that being one of my biggest regrets. Yeah. So you lied about where you were going that night. Yeah. Would your mother have said no? Uh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. All right. I'm just checking because, uh, yeah, I had to sneak out. I had a window. I'd sneak out the window, sneak back in. One day my father was waiting. It was not a good night. Um, but you, you said you drank that night for the mm -hmm. first time. What was it, wine coolers or something? Yeah. Okay. You, n you, never had drank, you never drank alcohol before that? Never drank alcohol before then. All right. And this made a little, uh, took a lot of note in the media. A lot of people took note of this. You said that you, were, you texted a friend who came over and told you that you had definitely slept with your boyfriend and stayed in, in his tent. You didn't plan on that happening. You first said that first comes love, then comes marriage. Um, you almost sounded like you didn't remember, and you even say as much that you really didn't remember what had happened. Yeah, you know, I remember uh, being with my friends by the campfire and then waking up in a tent uh, by myself, and that was a foolish decision that I made, and um, I know a lot of young girls do make that decision, and uh, I know they regret it. And, and some of and you wanted to go out of your way when asked, I guess, when the book came out, you're not describing date rape. No, absolutely not. I'm not accusing Levi of rape or anything like that. I'm just looking at that decision and that situation that I got myself in um, with older and wiser eyes. What, what it, when this had to come out publicly, when you first knew that the public was hearing about this, it was a surprise to both you and your mom. Tell us about that. Um, we were just in a hotel room in uh, Minnesota, I believe, and it just comes across the screen. So we were both pretty shocked just because my close family uh, hadn't known about my pregnancy until just a few days prior. Right. All right. So they, and the McCain campaign knew ahead of time. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, and you to also to describe this whole, so now all of a sudden you know your life's going to be, this is major campaign fodder. And how hard was that? Um, it was difficult, but we do have a really tough skin in our family, um, and we got through it, and it's just made us stronger. Yeah, but at the time when you turn on TV programs and you're seeing people talking about your pregnancy. Yeah, and um, making all these assumptions and stuff about my pregnancy, um, it, w it was difficult at points, but like I said, it's, it's just made us completely stronger. You even call it a blessing, you know, because at a, out of all this, it's still, you look at your child, your son, and yes. he's a blessing in your life. Yeah, he is the love of my life. You know, I, I got to be honest, it, it reminds me, I watched David Letterman once interview Paris Hilton, and I'm not comparing you to her, but there comes a point where I think, you know, I don't know why we're so, there's like an appetite to attack young kids. Uh, I wouldn't want my 16, 17, 18, 19 year old years broadcast. And as a matter of fact, I would never be this open in the book about, you know, how stupid I was then. And I was a lot dumber than you. Uh, in as much, I mean, I was dumb. 
Yeah, I didn't mean that that didn't come out right. I was a lot, I was a lot, I was really dumb at that age. I wouldn't want, you know, we all make dumb mistakes when we're young, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And, and you decided to be brave and courageous and come out with that. Yeah, I, I just feel like um, God has given me the strength to really come out in this book and say, look, these are the decisions that I made, and um, hopefully others can learn from those mistakes that I've, that I've made. Yeah, I knew, when I said I meant I really was dumb. <laughs> really, you, I, and I, but I would never say it. I mean, so many bad decisions, and then what changed me is I became a Christian when I became like 21 or 2. And that changed my life. And you talk, all the faith is a big part of your life. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I talk about many moments in the book where, you know, God was who I, who, who I went crying to. Yeah, and, and it does make a difference. All right, on the campaign trail, you had problems with Megan McCain. <laughs> and you said you got suspicious almost from the very beginning. Yes. Um, you know, I just wanted to note that we come from two completely different worlds. Uh, her dad's a politician and my mom's a politician, but that never defined me. Yeah. What were the problems? Because when you first met her, there were issues involving the clothes and the hair and all this, and you were suspicious of her, and you, you still never click now. Yeah, we don't talk. We're not friends, uh, nothing like that. But I just wanted to note that we are two completely different people. Yeah. Um, what are the differences? Um, I do things for myself, you know. I've had a job since I was really little, and um, I don't know if she does stuff like that. I don't know if she goes out hunting and fishing and stuff like that. Which I think is really cool. Um, the, the other thing that I think you have made a decision that, that you now are going to abstain from sex till you get married, and you made that very public. Mm -hmm. Um, I admire your values, and you make it public. Does that make it harder for you in a sense that, you know, you're putting yourself out there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was asked about it, and I answered honestly to the question that I was asked. And um, I'm, I'm definitely not going to have sex before marriage. Uh, I know what single mom, what my life is now, and um, I don't want another kid, and I don't want another a risk of being, being a single mom. Well, I got it. You're a very courageous young, young, young woman, and uh, I really admire. This was a gutsy book. Uh, I could never do it. And now, now every liberal out there is going to wonder, all right, what did Hannity do at 16, 17, 18? And it was, believe me, I got in more trouble than I care to admit. But it's an honor to have you. Thank you so much. Would you like your mom to run for president? Of course, absolutely. And you'd be out there supporting her and yes. campaigning? Yes, I is, would. Do you know anything if she's going to run? Because I can't get that answer out of her. <laughs> well, we, we definitely discuss it. Um, but what stays, what's talked about at our kitchen table is going to stay there. 